things that happen at school. Oh hi there, it's Ben. And yes, I have a beard. Oh hi there. Recently I read a BuzzFeed article about stuff that happened to people at school that other people could relate to and it made me think yeah, a lot of those are true. So I thought, let's talk about it in this week's video and I'll throw in some of my own. If you can relate to any of these, then make sure you drop a comment below and let me know. And if there's maybe some that I haven't thought of, then let me know those too. At the end of a lesson when a teacher used to make you clean the classroom, you'd always kind of find a part of the classroom and move your hands about like you were doing something. But in reality, you were doing nothing. Taylor, what are you actually doing? I'm uh, cleaning, cleaning the paints, sir. Taylor? Yeah, all right, okay, I'm not. Now I went to a school that was quite strict on uniform and they didn't like you wearing certain shoes, especially if they didn't have black laces. But these shoes came out called kickers, which were like moccasins, they had kind of brown laces and like red and green labels on them and they were a big no-no. But if you were a rebel, like me, you'd wear them anyway. Yeah, alright, I, I wasn't a rebel, I, I, I just wanted to fit in. When you get to PE and you think, I don't like this lesson anyway, and then you hear the two words that make your world crumble. Bleep test. Wearing shorts in the shower. Now this was a big thing at my school because let's face it, you don't want other people seeing your junk. But eventually we actually had to cover ourselves before we got to the shower by putting a towel around our waist so the teachers wouldn't see that we were wearing shorts. Because of course the teachers, even against your will, wanted you to go in the shower naked. Wait, that's weird. Every year when you'd get to assembly and wait to see if your class had been promoted to the wooden benches, then to find out you hadn't and you had to sit on the floor again. Turning up to class thinking, I really can't be bothered. But then seeing the teacher had brought a TV and the lesson just went from pfft to Taking the end off and the ink out of a biro and using it as a pea shooter, shooting wet bits of tissue paper across the... Wait, that's disgusting. Cracking open an ink cartridge from a fountain pen and getting that little ball out of it. I, 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 I don't know why we did that. I... yeah. It's a little ball. What's fascinating about that? We did it all the time. We were weird. In music class, waiting to see what instrument you were going to get given. All you wanted was the snare drum. Was it that hard? Yep, apparently it is that hard. There was always some other bastard that got it. Forging your parents' signature to get out of things. Mainly sport, because let's face it, sport's not fun. Having that one embarrassing time in front of the whole class. Mine came when I left my underwear at the sports grounds and my mum was kind enough to sew my name in it. So, in the middle of a maths class, one of my teachers knocks on the door and says, Excuse me, sir, do you mind if I come in? Sure enough, he comes in, but he's holding a big silver platter. You know, the kind posh waiters hold? Walks all the way over to me, and what's on the platter? My wife runs. Thanks, Mum. Although I suppose that is a good service. Getting it into your head that the last day of school is going to be a DOS day and you guys can just chill out and have some fun. Then realising that teachers disagree with you and they want to have proper lessons. But you'd always have that cool teacher that would just let you do whatever you wanted. Being punished for being the class clown. Now, I'm sorry, I don't think you should be punished for being the class clown because class clowns are funny. Although it can work in your favour. For example, once we went to PE and the, the teacher set up this big obstacle course, which I just saw as like, no, I don't want to do that. So he decided to talk us through the course and on one part there were wickets. So he said, here we have the wicket, to which I interjected, wicket man. I know what you're thinking. Funny. Comedy gold. Yeah, he didn't really think that, so he sent me straight out to the dressing room to change. Now, he may have thought that was a punishment. Bit of a fool. So there you go. They were my school experiences. If I've missed any, or if you've related to any of them, then make sure you drop a comment down below and let's discuss. I'd love to hear what happened in your school past or in your school present, if you're still there. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and you can find me on Twitter at oh hi there it's Ben, or by clicking the bird. Links to follow me are down there as well. And as always, click subscribe to join the family and find out when I upload more videos. Every Saturday, and sometimes midweek. Till next time, I'm off.